I've had a few people come out here and just like it is now, still, nothing moving, no one wind. And they said, well, how come it ain't a movie? I said, it's all wind powered. And they look at you, well, turn it on. My older brother, he said, why don't you build your shop? I was already mechanical minded. And I was going to build it at the house. And he said, come over here, I'll give you an acre of land. There's five points over here, you know, five roads. And uh, we got to talking about it and all. And I cut the timber off the farm. At the, my daddy had a sawmill. And we sold timber, and three of us built it. There won't no workshop in the country back in the 50s. Very few, you know. And, uh, we built truck and trailer bodies and back of sprayers. Anything come up, it made no difference what it was. Cause you know, didn't know one minute what was gonna come up next. You had to learn how, and of course that's what we did. I've done all this since I retired. I stayed with it. it took me ten years out there in the pasture, give or take a little bit on Sunday. Ten years every weekend. The old. Old Barnes Motor Company they got some stalls, long. Got, I didn't know they had all that room. The last piece they took down is outside, joining joining the building. They never done this kind of work, and it's kind of had to learn how. Well, there's several p people who come in here going, they're going to try it. I told them, I said, it's all work now. If you don't want to work, don't want to work, you better not start it. Mr. Bourne Wilson in charge of this. He just come back from Baltimore. You know, I got a big one up there. And he said they just recently painted it. His way is 40 foot in the air. And it, it took a nerve to get up there and paint that thing because it's about 50 foot long. And it's got 30 something things on it. I used to love to draw at school. Right there, one out of my people love, right there. See the cat. When the children come in and don't buy nothing, a lot of times the children want to buy something and the parents don't want, they ain't, they ain't got no money. And uh, I give one to them. Well, and then I make uh, different things. And that's, look, I, I call it an owl, because it don't look like an owl. But I make different, different drawings. And this uh, lady in charge of this particular bus come up with her hands behind him, said, Mr. Simpson said, this little lady's been blind all her life. She wants to see your windmill. Well, it hit me like a ton of brick. I went in there and turned the light on, and I said, I'm going to be gone about 10 minutes. I went home and got her a nice little windmill and gift to her. You ought to see them hands. They went all over it. I'm kind of tender hearted, something like that. I built one this year. We ought to have a big one. And I've got a Everything, every kind of animal you can think of on there. I mean, this size, cowboys right on it, and they all turning. Uh, a lot of work. Some things you, you just make and you like it, you want to look at it a while. I mean, you don't want to, you don't have but one, you don't want to get rid of it, you want to wait to make some more just like it. I side myself. I had to do something with what I had, and that's the reason the windmill's out there. And it turned out to be art, I reckon.